Wow! Ooh. So this one's upcoming uh, 1Z10 trip to uh, Huddersfield, Calder Valley and the Calder Valley. What I've decided to do, and it might turn to a pile of dust, is I'm going to try and video some of the key locations along the Colne Valley, starting off in Huddersfield, working up to Milnes Bridge, Slathwaite, Slowit, whatever it's called, then up to Marsden, up to the tunnel. Uh, film, photograph some of the locations, try and join it all together in a bit of a film and uh, see what we can make of it. Uh, hope you enjoy it. If you watch it, it's been a success. If nobody ever sees this ever again, uh, it was a disaster. So, uh, right, let's see what happens. Well, the warnings have been updated through the morning. There are a number in force through today, tomorrow and beyond. Chiefly for wind and rain, but there's also snow and ice warning in force across parts of Scotland during Saturday. There's a huge train of clouds streaming in from the Atlantic. Not much rain across parts of the south, but on the radar you can see here heavy bursts of rain earlier today over Western Scotland and Northern Ireland, where there's a rain warning in force. It's also very blustery, especially to the east of the Pennines, parts of northeast England and southeast Scotland, seeing gusts of wind suddenly whipping up. Those winds going across many of the uh, main routes as well, so the potential that could cause some disruption. Good morning. This is uh, Longroyd Viaduct just outside Huddersfield. Uh, it takes the uh, Penistone line uh, out of Huddersfield, uh, a line of paces if that's your kind of thing. Um, nice little spot next to the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. Uh, there's a, a lock gate, some old mills, uh, decent spot. I've just got a pacer going over there. Uh, 144 two car I think it was on its way to Penistone from Huddersfield yeah there's some interesting architectural features that can be built into, into some shots uh, around here with the the lock and the Huddersfield narrow canal and some old Yorkshire stone steps and what have you and you can get the viaduct in the distance which I'll just uh, carefully go up these stairs and let's have a look at what the shots are up there Springwood Junction footbridge. It's not bad. You can see over. Uh, I think there's some interesting compositions coming out of the tunnels. Um, you know, you've got the two tunnels coming from Huddersfield there, and uh, the tunnels going off towards Marsden, and then you've got the view round to Longroyd Viaduct. Uh, it's not that bad. Um, don't need ladders. Um, plenty of trains. So just a five-minute stop, and it's uh, you can get something in. Right, I've made it to Church Street and Branch Street paddock, which is only a quarter of a mile or so from the last spot at Longroyd Viaduct. Uh, here there's a couple of overbridges with a view of a church um, looking towards Huddersfield, um, a deep cutting. I'll take some video and some shots and let you have a look. Uh, but it's not too bad, easy to find, plenty of parking, don't need ladders, the walls shoulder height for me so uh, and they all look fairly accessible now I'm not planning this I'm just turning up seeing what's running and I didn't know that 68 was going to come I just stuck the camera over the wall and uh, a 68 shot round so I could have had my camera out could have taken a photograph could have composed something a little bit better but it just happens so there's no planning whatsoever in this it's just turn up see what's running right I've come to the first footbridge down from paddock where the church was it's only five minute drive if that two minutes but it's blowing a blooming gale and I've had to put my hat on and it's a bit high is this one so I've had to get my ladders out so let's have a look see what the view is like going both ways I guess at one time it was an interesting structure because the uh, some nice stonework remaining on this bridge but it's a, a stone cutting okay footbridge uh, heading towards Milnes Bridge now um, it's not too bad not too high parking's dreadful on the road above um, but you get a, 
a, a view over to Milnes Bridge. You can pick the viaduct up, um, and then there's some mills out there that you can pick up as well. With a long lens, there'll be a nice view of the curvature of the viaducts there and the side of the mill. Uh, but I haven't come down to this bridge with my long lens, so I can't take a shot of that. But it's, uh, I can think it'll be okay. Can you believe I chose to do this? When there's a yellow weather warning, windiest flaming Saturday we've had. <laughs> Good. At least it's not raining. Anyway, we're at Milnes Bridge. There's a dog walker's path at the back of the oh, bloody hell, this wind. There's a dog walker's path. Oh, there's a. We've just missed it. I was waiting for that trans pennine to come. Anyway. Now, like a fool, I didn't realise that the wind had whipped the camera strap and pulled the microphone out of the camera. Uh, I think at this point I was going to talk about some long-reaching views from the other side of the valley towards the, uh, the viaduct and the mills. Um, but I can't quite remember, so we'll never know. So it's Milnes Bridge. There's plenty of uh, mills, back streets with the viaduct uh, running across the town. Um, it's not too bad. There's uh, plenty of rough old Yorkshire uh, grit, if that's your kind of thing. Okay, this is Golka, or Golkar, whatever you call it round here. Uh, an overbridge, view back down to Milnes Bridge, and then looking up towards um, Slathwaite. And as I was just coming up here, a Class 68 had just shot past, and I'd missed that, and I've just missed something else as well, but that's the... Oh! Flaming wind! <laughs> we can hardly stand up. But I've just found something quite interesting. Just on this bit of uh, wall there is a London North Western Railway boundary post. A bit of a relic. We're making our way slowly out of Huddersfield, but. Uh, Rain has stopped play, it's just absolutely bounced it down. Hail, wind, miserable, miserable, miserable benign weather. Um, I'll see where it takes us next. I might have to abandon, come back tomorrow, but we'll see how we get on. Right. Thankfully, the rain has stopped, but the wind hasn't, and it's still blowing a flaming gale. But this place is my kind of place. It's an old mill, derelict, uh, it's called Lee's Mill, I would imagine, because it's on Lee's Mill Lane. Bloody hell! <laughs> I could do without this wind. Right, I'm going to try and set up for a shot, because there's some that I'd really like to do here, and uh, we'll see what we can make of it. <clears throat> right. Can you see me up there? Right, there's an IEP, one of the new Transpennine Nova things coming from Diggle, so I'm going to try and get a shot of that. Um, hopefully you can see it over the top of there. Less another day. I need to be more organised with the train diagrams. I've just walked back from uh, Lee's Mills, back to the car, putting all the camera gear away, and a 68 goes uh, west. Whip the camera out, not fast enough, put it back away again, and a 68 goes uh, east. So, uh, lesson. Need to know what diagrams these are running and what times they're going to be on, because I've seen that many of them backwards and forwards but I've never had the camera out or been in a spot so that is going to be uh, one of the lessons work out what diagrams uh, they're on and be in a reasonable spot if that's uh, what we wanted to get the 68s um, right back to the car to the next destination if I can do it before it goes dark because it's looking like I'm going to be back tomorrow now I'm just at the side of the uh, A62 on the way into uh, Slaithwaite or Slawit slough it as the locals might call it uh, and there's some great views over the uh, the valley trouble is this i've only brought out this um 
it's a 10 to 20 lens on here and it doesn't do justice for uh, some of the views but I think there's there's an empty stock of some sort coming up from Huddersfield that's on the diagram so I'm just going to stand here and, uh, and wait for it to go by and uh, we'll see what that is. Right I've made it up onto the moors near Marsden uh, but I'm definitely going home after this now because it's getting too dark. Uh, it's a very narrow road not a lot of parking so I've just had to um, stick the car there and uh, there is a train coming so I'm just going to see what it looks like from uh, from up here. So it's coming from uh, Leeds direction towards Manchester. the car in a very precarious position and this wall is very precarious nearly ended over there we're up on the top near Marsden and uh, not quite got to all the spots I wanted to get to today so I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow definitely the lights gone sunsets in 15 minutes but uh, I point in the camera down at this s-bend and I just had a look and there's a 68 on its way up from Manchester um, so if I get out of the way we should see a 68 on the trans and that will be the highlight of the day. So I'll get out of the way now because I can hear it coming. I was going to go, but I've just looked at my phone and there's uh, one of those IEP uh, Itachi things, Nova, whatever they're called, coming to Liverpool, Edinburgh to uh, Liverpool. So I'll watch that and then definitely going home and then we'll find some more spots to, uh, to hunt out. So uh, let's watch this go by. see it coming it's just around the corner and the hail has started now A nice shot in the sunshine with that so you can pick out all the mills in the uh, in the distance there over Marsden. Looks a looks a nice nice location, but not at the moment. So yeah. Hello, good morning. Back in the Colne Valley. It's uh, Sunday morning. And we're at uh, Slawit, or Slathway, Slathwit, Slawit, whatever it's called. It's not Slathwaite, that's for sure. Good authority on a local, it's actually Slawit. Slawit! Nice back street view looking down over uh, Slawit Viaduct, which I'm just going to try and get a shot. There's a couple of trains coming. Dear. The walk up from the town to the station is just not for the faint-hearted, that's for sure. Yeah, so we're just at the end of uh, Slawit Station and there's a train coming down from Marsden, so I'm going to catch that to see what it is. It's a Scarborough train, might be a 68, but it doesn't say, so I've no idea. Um, I'm just going to set the camera up at the end of the platform. But be behind me there's those fabulous steps that lead up uh, from down below. They look... Uh, Pretty good. I've 
pleasant walk along the uh, Colne Valley and Huddersfield Narrow Canal. And it's bloody windy again. Uh, the railway line runs on a, a ridge uh, up on the hillside. And I'm sure there's loads of composition chances along there. But today, there's not going to be many reflecting shots off the canal because it's blowing like a, a gale. Right, we're just walking up to a lock here and I'm going to try and get a shot in with the line and this lock. So we'll see what that looks like. I'm trying not to fall in the canal, but all the way along the canal, up towards Mars, and there's lots of little spots. Glimpses over bridges, some houses, um, reservoir. Some quite interesting little spots to take a picture of. I've just stopped here though, because there's a um, an Edinburgh train, so it'll be one of those Hitachi Nova thingamajigs. So I'm gonna set the camera up here and watch this whiz by, and I'll take a couple of photographs of it as well. So uh, we'll see what that looks like. Right, we've reached the end of the line, Marsden. Standage tunnel behind me. Um, it's taken some time to uh, work from Buddersfield up here. In fact, it's taken two days, and I've even with my wife helping me uh, this afternoon. Found out lots of interesting spots all over the place. Uh, I've just been speaking to a local chap who's um, part of the Buddersfield Railway Circle, um, who's given me some indications of interesting places to go. So, I hope this. Um, if it ever sees the light of day, this is if you're watching this, it has seen the light of day. But if it, I hope it's useful. It's given us a flavour of the uh, of what's to come between Huddersfield and Marsden. I'm really looking forward to actually getting together, and you know we can spend a a good hour here. I think all of us, I'm sure, will find something unique in our own little way. Um, same at Slathwit, uh, Slathwit. Slaithwaite, Slap, what are they I mean, called? Milnesbridge Viaduct, even Huddersfield, there's some interesting spots down there. Sounds like something's coming out of the tunnel, I've just been out of the road. So there we are. I didn't, I think I've, time's run out again. Um, so on the day when we're running around here, there's loads of opportunity. I've not even got up onto the hillside. I know I've, I've pulled out a couple of uh, long views um, over Milnes Bridge, uh, a couple of viaducts from up on the hillside. I even, there's, a, there's a, a decent shot right up on the top that looks down over the viaducts of uh, Slawit. And that was quite a nice view as well. Even up on the hillsides around here, there's some great views, but uh, just not had a chance to get the video camera out, my camera's out. So uh, I suppose on the week we come, then uh, there's, there's plenty of opportunities for, for loads of shots, which as I say, I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you find this useful. Um, if not, I don't care whether you do or don't, but uh, hopefully it is. Uh, useful. I've actually really enjoyed doing this. It's harder, harder than you ever imagined. Setting the tripod up, getting the video camera out, getting my camera out, looking at the phone, looking at the rail cam, see what's running, um, packing it all away again, changing the lens, setting the microphones up, and I've not even started editing this. I might, it might take me a lifetime to edit this lot. Anyway, that'll do for me. I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, and I'll see you all uh, when we come in March. And I say, I'm really looking forward to it. So, uh, see you all then. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>